Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kat. So, uh, it's Monday morning, and I've come across a story today that, uh, <laughs> has me in disbelief, shaking my head, saying, what the fuck is wrong with the world today? Um, like, are we living in some sort of alt universe, or... A one where people sell their farts and sell their breast implants and sell like toenail clippings and what like where did we where did we go wrong the story I'm referring to today is uh, Katie Price selling her largest breast implants for one million pounds and reveals her latest boob job is actually her 24th procedure. That's a lot of fucking procedures. If you guys don't know what Katie, who Katie Price is, let me see if I can flip my phone around. That's Katie Price. She's known, she's from the UK, and she's known for like um, having an alternate alias as Jordan uh, or Pricey. Like she used to be, she used to be like in, an influencer maybe before the word influencer was mainstream what do you call that like when somebody an elite no like somebody that goes out and sells their oh she was a, a page girl that's what it was she was a page two girl that's how it started. And then she got on to reality TV. I don't know if she had her own reality TV. And then she was on Big Brother, <clears throat> the UK, like three or four times. And even one, one of them, when she went up against, um, oh, I can't remember her name. My brain doesn't work very good. She went up against another girl, Katie, another Katie, Katie, like a really mean, bitter UK Katie that nobody really likes because she's so outspoken. And she came to United States during the Trump administration to try and fight for Trump to get it back into office. Katie, I can't remember her last name. It'll probably come to me later. And Katie Price ended up winning the Big Brother. When she came into Big Brother, she had, like, part of her breast was, like, leaking out from an incision from having her breasts done before that. 24 operations on your boobs, like... Hello? Is there anybody in there? But it says... Katie Price has put an eye-watering price tag on her largest breast implants, which, by the way, aren't the ones she had inserted this month. The My Crazy Life star underwent another surgical procedure in Turkey that was touted as her biggest boob job yet and her 14th. And she says 14th, she really means 24. However, 43 Katie has now set the record state on her record straight on her latest breast augmentation, which also offering old implants ew, for a whopping staggering one million pounds. Who the fuck would buy somebody's old implants? Ew. In her Instagram stories on Sunday, the former glamour model wrote, they say my 13th boob job, but it's more like my 24th boob job. Have to say, they are not my biggest. My biggest are for sale for a million pounds. Inquiries or email for further. I 
I don't, you'd have to be pretty hurting to buy somebody's boob implant. About as hurting as you would be to buy a fart. Like, what do you call those kind of people? A simp? A cuck? A cuck? A kook? A kooky cuck? Wild. Um, I've never really been an entrepreneur. Um, especially not when it comes to pimping my body out. My, uh, self-respect is, like, super high. And that's kept me out of a lot of trouble. A lot, a lot of trouble. It says, the former Loose Woman host, I didn't know that she was on Loose Woman, unveiled the results of her most recent boob job in her new YouTube video, where she gives her fans a tour of her boobs. No, joking of her luxury hotel suite in Thailand where she is currently on holiday with her 17th fiance Carl Woods I'm joking I think she's only had five or six uh, husbands five or six husbands Katie had her first boob job in 1998 which took her up to a 32 C I'm an A cup, like maybe a small B. Like, in all honesty, I would not want big boobs. I'm quite satisfied with the A cup that I was endowed with. Um, everybody else in my family has like D, E, F cups, like kahunas, like boobs out to freaking here. And I was always like, mm, I must have been in the looks lineup while all you guys were in the boob lineup because I never wanted big boobs. I like being able to like wear a shirt and that, you know, this is my, this is my, um, that's what keeps them up. What do you call that? Support. <laughs> that's my support. This thing right here, that's the support I need. I don't need like wires and cup like, <laughs> and I'm grateful for that. You know, I'm able to wear nice skimpy tops and not have to wear a bra what you see is what you get whenever I take the bra off everything doesn't like tumble out all over the place like it's all just nice tight together ah. a million dollars I can't believe somebody will buy a tit for a million dollars. What? Where are we in the world that uh, this is happening? I think that people have lost perspective of the important things in our lives. What do you think? She previously had them reduced in size, telling the son the first surgery I had was uncomfortable. These boobs have been to America, England, Belgium, and now these are turkey boobs. I've just had them reduced. My old implants, I have them in a bag. They were a thousand cc's and Jesus, when I hold them, they were really heavy. I think I've got 795 in, 795 cc's. So that's a lot smaller and they feel smaller. Going back to that picture, holy shit. If they're smaller now, that's too much tit. Like, look at the tit. That can't be comfortable on your back. Like, like when I sit forward, it's uncomfortable on me. So, 
I've got a lot of hanging skin because I've lost a lot of weight recently. <clears throat> uh, I'm so excited because I'm finally going to be able to wear clothes I don't look fat in. A lot of people have misconstrued the idea of beauty and beauty does not surround the size of what you are. It doesn't surround your boob size, your waist size, your hip size, your butt size, your shoe size, your dick size. It's so misconstrued. Beauty comes from inside, inside. If you are, if your face is nice looking and you're evil in your heart, like John Mayer said, congratulations on your face. You're still a piece of shit. And that makes you very, very homely, ugly, awful. Beauty does not come from here. It comes from in here. What you speak, what you spew out. If you're not nice inside, you're not nice. It makes you ugly. Your thought, your train of thought and how you think contributes to your beauty. That has been lost along the way somewhere. I don't know, maybe it's too many makeup palettes or maybe it's too many moisturizers or breast and butt augmentations. I don't get it. Like I really, I try to strive to be the best person I can be. And like I want the whole entire package. I wanna be a good person first off I want to be patient. I want to be kind. I think last on that list of beauty has not like the last thing has to do with my appearance. Beauty is everything to do with behavior. So it doesn't bother me to go weeks and weeks and weeks without having to put on a stitch of makeup. That's not what makes a person attractive. It's how you feel in your heart. So wearing clothes that you look fat in or look skinny in, like it's so misconstrued. In December, Katie underwent full body liposuction before heading back to Belgium in January for an eye and brow lift. So like, you're just looking like this now. Oh, you probably have your face lift up like this. Like this. Your eyes are up and your lips are up. If I can go my whole life without having any type of reconstructive procedures done on my face and my body, I would be a happy girl. Oh my God. Like, I want to age. Honestly, the most beautiful women I find are the ones who are natural. Very, very beautiful woman who looks like she has absolutely no work done to her face at all is Sherry Moon Zombie. She's probably my age, 44-ish, and she doesn't look like she's had any work done. She just looks herself. She looks her age, you know? We're not, we're not 44 years old trying to look like we're 25. I don't wanna stop the clock. I'm quite happy moving the clock along. I wouldn't mind slowing the clock down. Like, I don't want to look 70 when I'm 50. Like, so I've taken measures to take care of myself. I quit smoking, you know, you incorporate 
skincare and stuff like that, healthy eating, don't drink, you know, don't smoke, do the things that will age you, don't do those things, and just live and breathe naturally. I wish that we could get back to that, because so many people are losing focus of what natural beauty looks like. Like, you see a woman and you're like, mm, is that a woman? Mm, is it a woman? Mm. It's confusing. A source told the mirror that Katie's family was horrified that she's gone under the knife again, explaining it's getting really silly now and more than irresponsible. Everyone's quite honest and they're horrified. Katie's mother, Amy, had previously voiced her disapproval for having cosmetic surgery so often. She doesn't tell me now because she knows I'll go ballistic. Maybe it's because she doesn't feel attractive enough, or maybe it's body dysmorphia. Hmm. You think? You think? I think that um, she should undergo a psychic evaluation, psychotic, psychiatric evaluation and find out maybe if she has underlying hate on for the body that she was born with. You've had children. Children. Mutate your body. Not all the time, but they do. You know, when you go into having a baby, you're not going to come out the same person. And uh, she has four, five, four, five children or something like that. So... Maybe she does it because she doesn't feel attractive enough. Or maybe it's because she has body dysmorphia. Part of the problem is that she gets her surgeries for free. So someone is always capitalizing on her name. Sad. Katie Price, massive tattoo following her 14th boob job. She got a massive boob job. I'm going to show you these pictures. It makes you wonder where all the skin comes from. Like how do you have enough skin to fill those tits? You know, like I, under, I know that uh, through time gravity takes a hold of our body parts and it like wants to suck it to the ground but uh a tit like that holy holy she has um a youtube thing so let's just show you a little bit Size of those freaking tits, man. I could never imagine having tits like that. Never, 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 never. very happy in the body that I have right now. So tell me, would you buy somebody's used implant for a million pounds? A million pounds in Canadian dollars. The exchange from UK money to Canadian money for one million pounds is one million six thousand six hundred and sixty eight dollars five hundred and forty one dollars and fifty two cents so one million seven hundred dollars that's a lot of fucking money for boob like make that make sense make it make sense i'm sitting here 
I'm not an entrepreneur. That's what it is. I'm not an entrepreneur. If I could sell my farts, my toenail clippings, the bath water, you know, I'm nobody though, so people don't want that shit. It blows my fucking mind that people will buy used tits. That's like, would you buy somebody's used butt implant? Wow. Wow. I don't know what the world is coming to. It baffles me though. Let me know what you think about this. I will link the article, the video, and you guys can have a look at it for yourself and let me know what you think. If you're mind blown too, well, I don't know. We're in some alt universe or like I died and this is my coma and all you guys are just in my dreamland. And I'm laying in a coma somewhere with Nickelback playing in the corner. That's how I feel. Wow. Okay, I love you guys. See ya in my next video.